All right, this video is about performance and productivity hacks, okay? Useful stuff that will help you get more productive and improve your performance. However, I have to caution you that right towards the end is adult content. So since many of my viewers watch my videos with their family, their children, I would suggest uh, towards the ending, right towards the ending, you put it, stop the video and put it on your earphones. I'll give you a warning, a kind of warning that adult content so that you can put your earphones. Just make sure that you're not listening to it loudly because you might end up getting embarrassed. So hope you enjoyed this video. Watch the video, performance and productivity hacks that I use. The general question that I get asked by uh, some of my viewers is what is my uh, routine like? Some people ask me what is your morning routine, some people ask me what is your evening routine. Uh, obviously it's different for different people and uh, you need to adjust and find out what works for you. What I have done over the years is every two, three months, I create a new routine and uh, experiment, tweak it and see, does it fit into my life? Because obviously you change with time. So this is my current routine, the current one that I have. Uh, and the reason, obviously you'll be wondering, what is the reason for this? I've noticed just my uh, observation that people who are generally successful, they tend to have routines. Uh, it's very rarely that someone who is successful uh, just, you know, just does things randomly. Uh, like, you know, uh, taking your kids to school, uh, sleeping on time, getting up on time, reporting to work on time. So there has to be a routine. So my routine, uh, you need to understand, I'm not in a corporate world. I don't report to office, so I'm pretty flexible. So my routine is like, I get up whenever I like, which is a luxury I have. I can, like today I got up at 11.38. After I get up, the first thing that I do is put on my running shoes, I put on my running shoes, put on my shorts, and uh, if you see, I go without the shirt. There's a reason for that. Uh, because I'm sitting in a house with an air condition. Uh, I'm sitting in one place, always online. So the purpose of going outside without the shirt in the heat is to ensure the, the body gets a little bit of sweat, there's a little bit of blood circulation. So the first thing that I do is always uh, some exercise, any exercise. If I feel lazy, I'll just do one walk, which will hardly take two minutes, or I'll just do a few push-ups. If I'm, let's say, very busy, or I have to take the kid to the hospital, or I have to have a meeting. Uh, so what I tend to do is immediately I uh, just do 10 push-ups or squats or any exercise that ensures uh, there is blood circulation, okay? Uh, the logic behind it is uh, adrenaline gets released in your body, uh, your breathing, blood circulation improves, helps you think more clearly, makes you feel more active. And uh, as you make it a habit that as soon as you get up, you activate your body. What it tends to do is it uh, kind of gives your mind, your body, a memory that the minute I get up, we have, we have to be alert, we have to be sharp, we have to release testosterone, we have to release adrenaline in the body. And uh, the body, gets habituated to that. That's why in the military, you have the first thing that these guys do when they get up at four in the morning is run, you know, 
10 miles or whatever. Okay. So as I'm running, obviously my mind is working about the day, uh, which you cannot stop. I let it move and uh, uh, it is at that time that I practice breathing because if you don't breathe, you don't exist. And which is why when you're sick or when you're taken to the hospital, the first thing that they always ensure is you get a fresh supply of oxygen. And if you do not have oxygen in your system, obviously uh, you can't perform. So the more the oxygen in the system, the better. So the second thing which I do apart from exercise is breathe this way. It's okay if you want to breathe through the nose or through the mouth. I just make sure I take deep breaths, deep breaths of oxygen. Once again, not many, just a few. Okay. Always keep in mind that if something is easy, you will do it. Let's say, for example, you can do 10 push-ups. Let's assume. You can do 10 push-ups, but instead of 10, I tell you do one, just one push-up a day. I'm sure you would get down on all fours and right now do a push-up. Uh, let's say, for example, you can run one kilometer and I tell you just run five steps or six steps. You'll be like, that's so silly. I can do it right now. So the point is to do it regularly. The point is to make it so easy and the point is to make it consistent and repetitive because the more you do it frequently, the better it is for your body. It's like instead of just doing uh, one hardcore session so hard that you're knocked out for the next two, three days, you do something enjoyable. That's why I'm not a very big fan of CrossFit because you push your body to the extreme. And uh, also keep in mind, when something is easy, you'll do it more frequently. When something is hard, you dread doing it. Let's say I tell you, okay, you just have to give me one minute of your time doing exercise. Just one minute. Simple exercise like walking. Just one minute. You would, you do it without thinking. But if I tell you, let's get ready, dress up, and let's do the exercise for the next three hours in the gym. Maybe the first few days you'd be very enthusiastic. It's like New Year resolutions when you want to exercise and go to the gym. You're very excited. You dress up, you get ready, you drive down to the gym, which is half an hour, get ready, warm up another half an hour, do the exercise in the gym another one hour, then half an hour to uh, change your clothes, drive another half an hour and come back. So you spend around three hours. So at some point you'll be like, who the fuck wants to go through this man? I'll just sit down, relax. Uh, watch a movie, grab a, bu a bucket of popcorn, watch a movie and enjoy myself. So the point is to keep it easy, to make it fun and keep it as simple as possible, effortless. So the first one is exercise. The second one is breathing. The third one, which I tend to do always is, uh, you know, my workstation that I have. Uh, I make sure that before I sleep, okay, my workstation before I sleep, uh, before I actually retire or go to bed, I clean it properly. It has to be clean. Uh, I uh, dab a cloth with alcohol. I remove everything, clean it up so there's no dust. There's no dust, there's nothing. Uh, and keep everything in place so the physical desk is taken care of. Wires are, you know, I have a lot of, I have three iPads, two uh, smartphones. So there are wires everywhere. And then you have AirPods and so I make sure everything is kept properly in one place. Okay. Uh, and this is the physical aspect. The digital aspect, that is emails, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger, uh, all this, what I tend to do is I actually spend every night, one hour before I sleep, when I listen to music, to relax, to wind down. That I might tend not to listen to uh, any educational stuff. So I just delete everything. 
I delete everything from my WhatsApp. I just delete. I, I, you don't need records. You don't need to keep storing stuff. If there's anything to be like, uploaded, I either upload it to uh, a digital drive, uh, if I need anything, or a folder uh, that is on the cloud. But 99% of the time, I delete everything. I delete all WhatsApp messages, so it's only me being part of a group, but there also the whole thing is uh, cleared. So it's like there are members in my group. I'm still part of the group, but I haven't exited the group. There's just nothing there, nothing to scroll. Then emails, it's very simple. I read all of them or it's deleted or there is a date when I'll finish that particular task. Facebook, check all likes or comments or whatever. Finish it. Uh, I'm not going to keep anything for tomorrow. Uh, but most important is what is on my computer and smartphone because the more stuff that's collecting there, the more slower it'll get. So what I tend to do is uh, I have this software for iMac. I'm uh, not too sure if I can remember the name, but I'll share a screenshot. One is Clean My Mac, which is a very useful tool. I think it's available on Windows. The other one is, I can't get the name right now. I'll, I'll definitely share with you. It's like a cluster, blue cluster thing. Uh, it shows which are the heavy files, which are the big files, which are taking a lot of space. So with one click, I clean up the entire computer. Uh, any downloads, any files, any folders, everything gets deleted. Uh, then, uh, because I'm into video editing, obviously I need to delete and clear the heavy files. And uh, I make sure that only the thing that I use every day is on my iMac. So it's more like there is 90%, everything is just deleted off. It's just pure delete. I just keep only what I need for the next week or next month. And even on my smartphone, if you actually see my Instagram, you'll sometimes see that sometimes I post around like uh, 10, 20 posts all of a sudden of my baby, of my wife. You'll, you'll just see my Instagram just being flooded with all this because what I'm doing is as I'm going through the uh, videos and images that my wife sends me, uh, she sends me a lot. She records a lot of moments with her and the baby. So uh, I upload whatever needs to be uploaded and I delete the rest. Uh, if there are any special moments, those get uploaded on the drive. Okay. So even my smartphone is completely clean. Uh, another digital uh, upkeep that I do is, you know, we tend to save contacts of people. In my case, I get four to five new contacts every sometimes day, sometimes uh, it can be like even 20 a day. So I go through all the contacts and I segregate contacts based on uh, a certain category. Like I don't put the name first. I put the category first, like friend or Facebook or client. And then I put their name. So when I type client, all the client's names come. When I put friend, all the friend's name comes. When I put family, all the family name comes first. So then I choose. Uh, if someone is a member of my group, the group's name or initial and the person's name. And if I don't know who the person is, obviously, and next to that, I put something that reminds me, like if he is working for IBM, uh, group name first, then the name of the person, then in the bracket, IBM. Uh, or if the client is a VIP, let's say a client has paid me $10,000, $25,000 or $50,000. Uh, there's a number before the person's name, like 10 or 25 or 50. And then the person's name. So I, I go through the entire list. And uh, once again, either I segregate or I delete. So this habit kind of helps me, uh, you know, perform better because everything is in order. I only use what I have. And uh, on my iPads, because I have a habit of downloading games, I check which games I've used, which I've not used. And uh, I just keep the top three or five games. Rest, rest everything I delete. So there's no need for that. Okay. So this is another thing what you need to do. And uh, 
uh, speaking about productivity, um, after you delete, clear, and do everything, the other thing that I tend to do is, uh, it's very important to have a target. Like, my target today is to complete all, uh, going through all the links people have sent me about reports of the Middle East, job opportunities, uh, you know, my client appointments. Uh, today it's to finish that. Okay, that's my work-related target. And my monthly target is to earn the $10,000 uh, target as quickly as possible for the month of November. So that's the daily target uh, and there's a monthly target. Okay. Now, my targets are not only uh, work-related. I have fun targets as well. My fun target is or the entertainment target is to buy a Nintendo Switch, something that I've been doing research every day, and to buy a nice TV. So yesterday night, I managed to get from one of the websites here, um, a 40 inch flat screen for 50% off. So I've been patiently waiting for a month, uh, taking my time, didn't have any targets, just said that I'll buy a Nintendo, I was stuck between Nintendo Lite or Nintendo Switch, so I found this 50% off for the TV. So I decided to buy it. Uh, so that was a fun goal for me. And, uh, you know, because I was taking my time and being patient about the Nintendo Switch, I found out that there is a special, uh, you know, promotion coming 11, 11th November, 11, 11, uh, 2019, something, 11, 11 mega sale. So I'm waiting for that. And I made a list of, all this accessories and games that I'm going to buy with the Nintendo Switch. So that's a fun goal. Then uh, the family goal is to take my wife, baby and me. Uh, every day we do something, something that's fun. Uh, like we go shopping together or we go grocery shopping together. So I spend time with them. But the fun stuff is the goal is something extra. Like uh, taking them to Burger King or... You know something small that will make them happy or taking my kid to a play area and allowing myself to let my kid enjoy for one hour uh, without me focusing on my phone or anything 100% on the child so that is fun goals and fun targets then uh, another uh, habit or routine I follow is uh, when I was into sports I used to love, uh, in those days in Dubai, I used to love having hot showers, really hot showers. Like, you could literally feel the steam. As it is, Dubai is hot. And I would have a hot shower and I would lather myself with amazing soap, amazing shampoo. Uh, but as I got into sports, uh, being a triathlete and uh, marathon runner, half marathon runner, I discovered that uh, most of the top athletes they have bath in cold water, really cold water, sometimes ice cold water. They put ice and they sleep in a bucket of ice or big tub of ice. And I used to do that. And I was like, shit, it was terrible. But uh, after I get out of it, I'd feel like a million dollars. I'd feel amazing. I'd feel like, wow. Because, the, because of uh, the cold temperature going down, blood circulation increased and really tries to... Uh, strengthen your body so your immune system becomes stronger so what I did was in my house I disconnected the heater I just broke it off uh, and uh, ever since we have been having bath in cold water and uh, that has been the best thing I've ever done so I always my body is now acclimated to having bath in cold water so you know one benefit is you have bath quickly <laughs> the second benefit is your body becomes stronger. You feel amazing after you have the shower. Uh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> try doing it. Have a bath in ice cold, <coughs> ice cold water. <coughs> oh, sorry. I try having bath in ice cold water and make it a habit. Uh, initially, just keep in mind that uh, you may fall a little sick if you're not used to it. But after that, your body will get used to it. That's why even if there's rain, 
I don't keep my baby in the house. I let my baby play in the rain. It's <coughs> the body gets used to it. Sorry about the sneezing. Then uh, uh, another habit that I've made is after I get up in the morning, um, let's say I finish my exercise, finish my uh, breathing, had bath in cold water, feel fresh. Oh yeah, this one is uh, for mostly uh, Indians. Uh, I, my parents used to have the habit to buy the cheapest toothpaste, the cheapest shampoo, the cheapest soap, the cheapest everything. I guess they were trying to save money. It's not that I don't save money. I'm also looking for the best deals. Like I would buy a Colgate toothpaste, but at the same time, because Colgate is cheaper, but at the same time, I would also buy a premium toothpaste like Sensodyne, the best Sensodyne that I could buy. The best, uh, uh, you know, there is another brand, uh, Pentodan or something like that. It's a red flavor. It's, it's pretty expensive. It's like I can buy five Colgate uh, tubes instead of one Sensodyne. So I buy the one Sensodyne. Why? Because my teeth are very important. Oral hygiene is very important. I buy the best uh, mouthwash. Uh, even though it's just more of a gimmick, mouthwash doesn't do anything much, which I've realized, but it's still, I want to take care of myself. Normal soap is there, but at the same time, the best soap I can buy. Uh, normal shampoo and the most expensive shampoo that I can use for my body. Uh, the reason being is don't just try to save money where your health or your physique is concerned. Take care of yourself. So maybe the first, uh, after I finish my exercise, the first uh, round that I have is with a normal soap, normal shampoo, scrub, scrub, scrub. After that, I take the best shampoo or the best body wash or the best, not shampoo, I don't have hair. Uh, and I really take care of myself. So that's something I would also suggest. Another thing which I tend to do is my morning doesn't start without a coffee. I used to drink coffee with sugar, uh, but obviously after my surgery, when I made my stomach small, sugar became very hard for my body to manage. So I was taking sugar free, okay? Su sucrose or I think that's what you call that. Uh, now I made it a habit, my espresso, I drink four shots of espresso. That, that's what keeps me alert. So I have the espresso without any sugar. I have it bitter. The reason being is uh, you shouldn't start your day with sugar in your system. So I have my coffee, my espresso without sugar. It's bitter, but now I've used to it. Kind of, uh, when I drink, I know how it tastes. I'm like, okay. Initially, it was really, really hard. I mean, I just couldn't get the espresso down. And if I'd get it down, I'd feel like puking. So make sure, so avoid having anything sugary or carbs in the morning. It's not good. Uh, I have the espresso and uh, uh, if I'm feeling hungry, I have a boiled egg, just two boiled eggs. That's a protein. Do not have carbs and especially do not have Kellogg's or, uh, you know, cornflakes. That's processed sugar. Just don't have that. Uh, Indians might go for dosa or, well, uh, you can, uh, since you don't have an option there, eat dosa. But I wouldn't recommend because once again, it's carbs and sugar. But then again, it's a cultural thing, so you can't break away from that. So, uh, But my coffee is without sugar. It's bitter. And uh, as I'm at the Amazon coffee shop, I also take uh, my lemon iced tea. Well, this one is with sugar, but I love lemon iced tea. And I don't have it immediately. I take it on the in this, uh, uh, you know, thermos flask. Uh, where the temperature kind of remains more or less the same, ice cold iced tea. And uh, I sip bits of it throughout the day. So as I'm sitting for work, I sip my iced tea uh, constantly, every day. Uh, every, you know, few minutes. Helps me. 
then uh, when I'm sitting down for work, uh, you'll be surprised to know I don't actually sit down for work and start work. This is a part that might surprise you a bit. <laughs> uh, I like to keep it real, you know. So I'm not this productivity guru. When I sit down, the first thing I do is, you know, I'm part of these online games, uh, Dominations. I play that game. Although now I'm moving towards Switch, I want to stop spending. I spent, I think, more than $20,000 on games. Okay. Just in two years time, $20,000 online games by virtual stuff. So now I've hit the, put the brakes a bit. I don't spend that much money. Uh, but I'm part of Dominations uh, Alliance. It's like these strategy games. So the first thing what I do is, since I'm part of this group, I make sure that I finish my assignment. We are supposed to attack certain bases. And now you might be thinking, what has that got to do with, uh, I mean, productivity? It's uh, sometimes I get bored. Uh, you know, hear me out. The thing about uh, having fun and uh, enjoyment is it becomes necessary to uh, keep your mind active and focused and fun. And when you're part of these groups, uh, you tend to follow certain protocols, certain uh, disciplines, certain rules. So you tend to respect rules. So even though I'm in this team filled with, you know, most of them are kids, most of them are youngsters. So it kind of like in a strange way uh, makes me follow orders. I. <laughs> I know this might sound funny, but I'm actually taking orders from a youngster in my group. He tells me, Loy, you'll attack this base, you'll <laughs> attack that base. Uh, you have to donate so many troops and that takes me at least an hour of looting, raiding, gather the resources and dump tanks or, you know, guys with, you know, bazookas. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like I'm taking orders from a youngster and uh, I'm actually doing my part of the job. But it kind of gives me a discipline, it kind of uh, makes me respect group dynamics. I do my part of the job and it makes me kind of feel good. And at the same time, I have these online targets. I have to build the walls, build the defenses. So it kind of keeps me committed. Otherwise, you know, it's very easy for me to just say, oh, fuck this. I don't want to take shit from anyone. No. When you follow that, you also remain humble and grounded and you respect other people. and. It improves your social skills. For me, uh, it's amazing that I'm interacting with 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, and I'm talking to them and, uh, you know, giving them the importance of one of them being my leader. And, you know, it's like, okay, you tell me what is to be done, I'll do it, and uh, that's it. So it helps me. And when you play a game, online game, you need to have a strategy, you need to use your creativity, you need to know how to attack, what troop mix to have. Okay, I don't want to get too much into gaming, but it keeps your brain active and sharp. So it's not just work and there are many other forms of creativity avenues. Like you can maybe try, you know, these crossword puzzles or sukudo or, um, you know, problem solving puzzles. It'll help you. It'll help you. Uh, keep your mind fresh and active. So I, I find this interesting at least. Uh, then uh, another thing which I tend to do is uh, I always experiment with my diet and see new foods. But then there are these standards which I eat. So and make sure that the standards that you eat is good for you and you enjoy it. So uh, fortunately for me, uh, that is very simple. I just like chicken that's uh, fried. I know fried is not a good option, but I like uh, chicken. Um, I always have peanut butter uh, jelly sandwiches uh, too. That's my everyday meal. Uh, then one meal. So that uh, takes care of my sugar cr uh, cravings. I always eat protein so it keeps me full. That's my next meal uh, somewhere around uh, maybe four o'clock. Then somewhere around 8 o'clock, I'll have a soup. Uh, wife will prepare something with uh, thigh, you know, it's just simple. 
at night time when I'm sitting and doing my creative work, uh, well, I binge on a few snacks uh, like seaweed. And yes, sometimes <laughs> I'll admit I like chocolates, white chocolate. Okay, so I'm not perfect. But then uh, this is how my everyday schedule goes, everyday work life goes. And uh, yes, one very important thing that I tend to do, which if I could say is the most important bit, I'll give you two, I'll give you two bits which are the most important, okay? Uh, and this might surprise you a bit. The first one is every day, because I'm into personal branding, every day I make sure that either I do something that adds value for free or I help someone for free, okay? But if I do help an individual person, always take a letter of recommendation, which I can share with my uh, user group. But most of the time it is these videos or articles which I share for free. Now, the benefit of doing this is it adds value to your brand, it enhances your brand, it uh, develops your integrity, your reputation, um, and you become a trust agent. So, uh, in today's day and age, if you have this content that is out there, either in video or a blog, some way where you can communicate with others, uh, it becomes easy for you to leverage on your personal brand and earn more money. Very important, very, very important. Uh, so if you're good at cooking, put a video or a blog. If you're good at running or exercise, if you're good at construction, your work, if you're in a leadership position, whatever, just a blog or an article, small, it need not be very big. It can be 50 words, it can be 100 words, it can be just a Facebook update, okay? Don't put someone else's quotation, don't put someone else's image, always have your own, okay? And for this, you need to learn the basic skills of using online tools. Uh, mine is Photoshop because I design thumbnails. Uh, Final Cut Pro because I do videos. You see now I have, uh, I use tools like my iPhone for videos. So make sure that technology and uh, the softwares that are there, you know how to use them, whether it's Word, it's Excel, whatever, because this helps you improve productivity, okay? And um, last, if not the least, which will surprise you the most is related to sex, pleasure and self-satisfaction, okay? Uh, Self-pleasure or in other words, masturbation or sex. Now, you will very rarely get people to talk about this, very, very rarely. And uh, uh, people just don't discuss this maybe because it's not something that's socially acceptable or we live still in conservative society and yes wherever there is sex and wherever there is pleasure religion always gets involved you just can't help it it's like uh, your thought that god is watching what you do with your genitals the god that is up there this great power is actually not focused on floods and famines earthquakes death and destruction, children dying of bone cancer or starvation. He's not focused on all that. He's focused more on where your hand is or where your mouth is or what you're doing in your bedroom. So I found, I found that very ridiculous that he's so interested in what I do in my privacy. I mean, that's a breach of my privacy. How dare you, you know, <laughs> how dare you spy on what I'm doing? So that was when I was a religious bum. Uh, so what I, this is what I follow. Okay. I don't know about you. In India, there is this, uh, India or this new age thinkers have come up with this no FAP rule, no FAP, no FAP rule. Uh, what it basically means is you just don't engage in masturbation at all. You control yourself and you hold it. Now here's my take on this. Let's say you like chocolates, you love chocolates, you like sweets, and I tell you never to eat sweets again. You'll succeed the first day, maybe the first week, but after that, it's just a ticking time bomb. It's waiting to explode. It's waiting to just let go. So you can control, 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 
one day you lose control and you'll not only lose control you lose complete control and then you'll go to the extreme end that is why people who lose weight and diet and become thin they can't sustain for very long they eventually give up and then they go back to being twice as fat okay let's say for example you have not had sex for very very long and then one fine day there is this attractive girl or attractive guy i mean most probably you will end up making a mistake either emotionally or because your weakness is physically that's why why do you think guys do things that they regret when they are with this girl or why do you think girls make emotional mistakes because that's the only one outlet that they have the one person uh, consider this if a guy were to first masturbate and then go for a date the chances of him being desperate are very very less uh, why because there was a hunger he satisfied that hunger and now he feels okay but on the other hand if he was total in control and then he suddenly sees this girl who is physically very attractive and very tempting uh, you know we don't know what direction he would um, you know go for i mean it all depends on how strong his temptation is how strong his will power is character is and and as we know will power is a muscle that keeps getting weak as the day passes by so what is the solution here is ma this is what i suggest it's much more safer for a person to actually engage in masturbation it's much more safer and much more cheaper and much more i mean you'll never get an std you'll never harm anyone you'll never destroy anyone's life you're just in your four walls of your privacy you do your thing use your hand use your fingers whatever finish wash yourself and you're done and now anyone tries to act funny with you anyone tries to tempt you you meet anyone ultra attractive do not be desperate in my case i just finish it off 5 minutes uh, quickly it's all in the head okay okay the body is satisfied wash myself focus on work don't think about it so i get it out of my system once and for all and it's uh, it's it's been kind of mechanical it's like um i am not one of those guys who's a big fan of going on a big romantic date a long date and uh, you know crazy stuff and love and all that bullshit so fucked up man i mean uh, your time is fucking important and at least for me as you grow older your time tends to get more fucking important really important okay so for me 5 minutes finish it off get it over with that's it even when i communicate with my wife i say let's have sex fast because we have a baby you know we need to plan out when we are going to have sex we can't have sex if i'm feeling romantic she's feeling romantic we can't have because the baby is there and we can't just leave the baby somewhere so either we have to plan it out when the baby sleeps and when she is in a mood and when i am in a mood and when everything is perfect uh and uh, we need to do it really fast couples normally don't Uh, people don't share this but this is a fact when you have a baby you need to plan out when you're going to have sex and uh, when the baby sleeps it's like everything fast i have shower fast she has shower fast we finish everything fast uh, go to the bedroom quick sex fast finish 5 minutes is done okay get back to work <laughs> this is how it goes man this is the reality of fucking life people don't discuss this they don't talk about this <laughs> well because they just want to show oh they are goody goody Pray to God, you know, self-control, all bullshit. So yeah, masturbation and uh, uh, sex is very, very, very important. It uh, it's a part of human body. It's just like hunger. It's like hunger, thirst, uh, sleep. You need to take care of your mind, your body, your desires. Otherwise, you'll go extreme. You'll go mad. You'll go berserk. That is why you have so many priests, so many. holy men you know uh, so many uh, powerful corporate executives fall from grace because they made this one mistake one mistake it all it takes to ruin a complete legacy so if you were to do it every day you'd be perfectly in control you'd not feel desperate you'd not feel anything you'd just be completely 
relax. That is why any girl, she can show me her boobs, her breasts, she can be hot, she can be whatever. Hi, how are you? Bye. That's it. Because stomach is full, <laughs> I don't want to eat. <laughs> no matter how delicious the food is. So yeah, I hope uh, these tips, tricks, techniques, all that added some value to you. As I have told you, this is a free service. I would appreciate a like, I would appreciate a comment or a share. Uh, it'd be nice of you because this is your way of showing me support. And send me your questions, send me whatever ideas you have, and I'll put up a video. This is me signing off for now. Take care.